Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, a War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Saving Your Disaster campaign. Uh, it is time for some more Advent Lockdown. I hope you're ready as we are going into, um, I think it is mission number 11. 11 or 12. Anyways, uh, long story short, we got to uh, get the VIP from uh, the Advent City, Lieutenant uh, Harry Tucker, which apparently had been a previous character of the owner. And uh, that's a blessing and a burden at the same time. By the way, I'll take uh, Colonel Haunt and Hopby to lead this mission. The rest is our lower level characters, maybe with the exception of Fatal, who is a major, hopefully becoming a Colonel soon as well. Long story short, it's a blessing and uh, um, and a burden at the same time. Blessing because we get uh, more, uh, one soldier more. A burden because the soldiers seem to have been in captivity for a long time. And lieutenant is usually not a very high rank. Um, so of course I would be more excited to get a colonel. But we'll take what we can uh, get at this point. Let's jump into the mission and see if I can pull it off. Good, we just landed. The target coordinates are quite a bit away. But we got some high ground over here. And it's very likely that we're going to run into the Chosen. Let's take a good look at what we're dealing with. Dropping down here to see through the entire alleyway. Dropping down there to see through the entire alleyway. Time to engage with the first pack right away. If we are in range, there's no reason why we can't engage with them. Well, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Couple of things. Let's start with the Elite Lancer. We're pulling him to us. Well, that's going to be an advertisement video uh, for how great skirmishers can be. It's actually a pretty damn good turn for him. I think we're keeping the whiplash for a bit later. Not be a kill immediately. Lightning hands. Come on. Hmm. Okay, a few things first. Putting our VIP into a hunker down position. Secondly, let's flank this guy. I think we got the correct ammunition yes we do sir 18 critical that's what i'm talking about that is exactly what i'm talking about Moving into a better position because a pistol shot at this point uh, still has better odds to finish this guy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Low bees. Low level characters are the best. They just are. Yeah, I think we're just going to kill him normally, uh, meaning the skirmisher might just take care of him. In the meantime, first things first. Let's kill the Lancer. Gain some focus. There we go. There's the bonus focus I was looking for. Great. 
exactly what we were looking for. And let's kill this elite specter. Oh, he dodged. I see how you're playing, young Padawan. Okay, we know we gotta get to there. Might as well start moving down here. Well, that tells us there are a couple more enemies and not surprisingly the assassin is showing up fully leveled um, chance to fire back on missed shots immune to melee which sucks for um, our various melee combatants can summon troopers overwatches and does not trigger overwatch herself but is easy to hit from high ground which we got plenty of and skirmishers can deal with her so all we got to do is find out where she is and take her down rather quickly that by the way is almost a remote kill right there Yeah, lightning reflexes, unfortunately. Yep. Too bad. But we can kill this guy easily. And we're going to get another point of focus whilst doing that. There we go. What value do you place on the lives of your enemy? Good. Two down. Uh, we, I think, got a few more to go. All right, moving up just so we got a better position up here are you telling me I can't remote start it anymore well wow, that is that is bad good this here should allow us to transition at least an action, combat preservance, hopefully to our... No, we can't. Wow, that is bad. Well, I think we got to pass on the opportunity to remote start then. Instead, we're moving a bit closer. Edgar Alien Poe moves over here. Yeah, you know what? We're just overwatching. These guys are going to kill themselves. This is eventually going to kill them. Good. Where's the chosen is the question. Seems she's down here. Let's 
let's position ourselves here. It's a good chance that we can see down there. Okay, that's a hundred percent kill. Jumping down just to see if we can spot her out. The answer appears to be no. Still trying to find her. Because I think that I've seen a camera twitch. Like to be somewhere in that area. She started back here, two turns. Could be, could be down there for sure. Probably not going to find her. Your overconfidence will be your undoing, Templar. Trying my very best to somewhat uh, find her As one dies, and spot her out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Last chance to see if she's there. Unlikely now, unlikely that she's there. Good. We essentially eliminated all enemies here. Being closer to the VIP, Overwatch doesn't really matter for her. I was trying to f uh, to spot her out, but I was unsuccessful. We're most likely going to be attacked. But not in a way that I thought. I thought the Chosen would run right into us. There she is. Luckily we parried. She took the bait. Nice. Very nice. Just stay there. We're in a perfect spot. We've got the chosen right where we want them. It's time to strike. Your soldiers will die today, Commander. But they die with honor. Okay. 
Can we reach all the way there? Probably from here. From here would be an option as well. That will allow us to stay in full cover. Oh, that ghost would be pretty far away. That is unfortunate. take this position we're opening ourselves up for a bit of a painful interaction with her I go what I'm needed. good we're moving up I think these two here are a problem at this point Can our sniper hit this? Uh, the answer is yes. VIP stays in cover. Uh, let's get it, Galleon Poe. In on this action. Can we get him into high ground? No, he does not have run gun yet. Understood. Moving out. Not great odds to hit from here. He's only in half cover as well. Okay, we got three potential, three potential ways of handing over our action. Only thing that is a problem is we've triggered yet another pack. Overwatch. How about? How about? We're making sure that we're not too close to the chosen. How about? We are combat presencing to make sure that that advent captain dies there we go 100 percent kill and that's oh bla blazing pinions i have expected him to go for blazing pinions but that's fine wasted an action right there teleport into psionic bomb Completely wasted that sounding bomb. 
the worst target that he could have picked. And that's a hit into parry. Okay, fair enough. We dealt very well with that pack. Now the big problem starts. Harbor wave. Yeah, I figured that that might be the case. Okay, okay. Can a VIP revive? The answer is no. A VIP can actually really just run away, and that's about it. Not a bad start. I think we should be fine over here. Uh, maybe not. We would be better over here. I will reposition. But we gotta get him. Good. So, a couple of things. Let's see. Hmm. I would like to use some high ground. Problem is that most of the high ground here will be disappearing very, very soon. Good. How can we amplify damage? I wish I could reach the Chosen with the Amplify damage. Can't. Also can't stay here. It's just too risky. Which means we're not going to get rid of uh, the cover. That's gonna be a problem. Turn becomes more difficult than I would have expected, to be honest. What we could do is we could do this. Let's focus on her first. So we can't quickly reload, meaning this year. Believe it or not, as a reposition maneuver isn't too bad. Okay, fair enough. Let's make sure we get rid of her. Oh, wow. Standing fully in the open is not a good idea, but I am confident that I know what I'm doing. That is a bonus damage for the skirmisher right in there. Had 
All right. What else? Could not deal with her, not easily. Could finish. Trying to find that sweet spot where we are still having line of sight. But the problem is, oh, this is all within blazing pinions. So after careful consideration, I actually think that the blazing pinions were not a waste of a turn. It was well done. 15 points of damage. Nice little hit. Can't kill the Chosen. Only thing that we can do is... Terminate those pesky uh, clones for now. Good, we got an advanced auto loader so that will not take us any action. Don't want to deal with that guy. And I need to move out of the blazing pinions. <sighs> Chosen is immune to overwatch. Could hit her once, but wouldn't kill her. It's more effective, believe it or not, to go for the Archon. Even if that is a miss. You were created for this very purpose. Now go. She might want to vanish. Well, that's a hit in melee. Not much I... Ooh. It's a miss. Good. I was about to say not much that I can do about it. That's a nice little parry right there. Grenade and summoning. Well. Or almost killing our sniper. Just putting it out there, whoever designed the Chosen, I mean, she started here, okay? That's like what? That's two moves just to get here, two full moves. That's three, three normal moves. So someone who has 18 movement, so for a slower unit, that would be like what? Four or five moves? I get it. Uh, she's supposed to be a mobile, um, uh, mobile champion. But believe it or not, even in game uh, design, there is such a thing as too much is uh, or enough is enough. Open up because we gotta save our sniper. Dry on ammo. Down to one HP, he is going to die next turn. Okay. 
Okay, well, yeah, that is luckily not really far away. You could argue that that's pretty realistic, right? Good, we're parrying, and how about we're just making sure that at least this clone here is not going to survive. There we go, done deal. Sonic Bomb? Oh yeah, what a surprise, right? Gotta save him now because the psionic bomb would actually kill him if we're not doing anything about it.